Hi guys, my name is Anders Dongshit. I'm a former TTP student and a recent GMAT taker. And in this video, I will try to explain you my preparation journey the TTP and uh, share some insights that I hope will help you design your own uh, study plan for the GMAT and result in a GMAT score that you were dreaming about. Now, to start off, first I would like to explain just a little bit about uh, uh, my background, my skill set that I had when I started preparing for the GMAT because it is really important to emphasize that every GMAT taker is obviously different, your skill set is different, your background is different, uh, and this will tremendously affect your preparation. So it is very important to uh, keep this in mind and only take stuff away from this video that is actually true for you and, and benefit you. So about my background, as many of you, I have uh, a Finnish bachelor's and I would like to go to some very good master programs which uh, demand a good GMAT score. So this is why I took it. But what might be different is how I came into GMAT and the whole preparation regarding my skills. So first of all, what I would like to emphasize is that I'm obviously a non-native speaker, uh, which is true for many. And it really affects preparing for the GMAT. Obviously, uh, as non-native speakers, we have to uh, have a different level of understanding. We, um, we have to also practice understanding the questions, understanding different concepts. Obviously, there's a language barrier there. However, I am lucky to have a reading comprehension and also a general command of English that allowed me to have very good uh, results on the verbal section from the beginning and also my, my logic and my way of thinking. It is very well aligned with the uh, data insights uh, part of the GMAT focus test. So from right on the beginning, I saw that uh, my main challenge was quant and I didn't need any practice for verbal and data insights, basically. Obviously, it could have been a little better if I did some practice, but still from the beginning, I had like 98, 99th percentile scores in verbal and in data insights. However, my quant, it was in the 70s points wise and somewhere around the 30th, 40th uh, percentile when I took my first mock test. So obviously this gave me a very, very strong signal uh, to go for the quant only uh, in my preparation. But obviously this is not the case for many of you or maybe most of you. So obviously this will be mostly about the quant, but you shouldn't forget preparing properly for the verbal and the data insights part as well. Now, it is also very important to emphasize here in the beginning that I only had a very short amount of time to prepare for the GMAT. I had basically a few week of, uh, weeks of getting into it, um, doing some original guide practice tests but the real preparation only took 35 days, basically five weeks. Uh, and for that, I used the target prep, target test prep resources um, and the help of the TTP team. So I will share some insights on this as well. Now, my first score on the GMAT with a mock exam was 615, which is actually the average score of uh, my my chosen program. Uh, so I was quite happy with that. And also, as I mentioned, um, my verbal and my dating sites were uh, almost spotless. I made one or two mistakes in dating sites, maybe zero mistakes on the verbal. So I was very happy with that because I had a very limited amount of time and this was great that I could only focus on the quant. Now, the quant, as I mentioned, it was really lacking behind. It's not that I'm, I'm very bad at math, but GMAT demands this very special command of, of uh, these uh, math concepts. You need to be very fast. You, you need to be very careful about your notes and, and uh, taking good notes by solving these exercises. And you just have to know the concept right away. So obviously this needs a lot of practice for many of us. And uh, this is why uh, I joined TTP basically because uh, other people and also the many positive reviews we're recommending TTP uh, for for the GMAT preparation. Everybody was saying that this is a one-stop solution 
uh, to do a great GMAT score. And um, I believe the same. I tried it, I did it, and it was really a uh, great preparation and, and a very fun experience overall. I started it uh, like 35 days before my, my GMAT. Uh, before that, I was only doing these uh, uh, original guide exercises. Uh, in the TTP course, obviously, I was only focusing on one, but there I was really following the plan that TTP gave me. So when you sign up for TTP, the first thing you will encounter is a greetings video from Scott, uh, the founder of TTP. I think it's a, it's a really funny video. He says like five times that you should just follow the study plan. And it's almost already boring by the end of this three minute video that he just repeats himself over again. You should just follow the study plan. He says it again and again, and it's true. It really makes sense that they emphasize this. Obviously, after completing the course, I see that they must have put a tremendous amount of effort into designing this whole study plan because it really is a step-by-step -step process that is designed perfectly uh, for you to go through it and achieve a very, very good score. Uh, it covers every single topic. Once I was approaching the end, I took my uh, first real uh, mock test after practicing and the questions were basically the same style, same structure um, in TTP as in the mock test. And it was the same for my, my test day exam. It was really, really um, interconnected with the TTP material and it was really easy to carry everything over from TTP to uh, practice uh, to exam day because really it was very, very, very well aligned uh, with everything needed for the GMAT. Um, so basically, this is my take on this. I just did what the guys uh, said I should with TTP. I followed the study plan. I did every single exercise I could. Here and there, I left out a few uh, hard tests when they were taking too much time and and I had a very sh short preparation. Obviously, this is not something I would recommend to anybody. I think you should uh, give GMAT a proper two, three month long preparation. But if you can't, even if you have a few weeks only, you should go for TTP and, and just try to get in as many practice as you can, read all the chapters, all the explanations. And I think it will give you a very, very good tool set for, for killing it on test day. Now, what I would really like to emphasize here is that TTP is not just uh, a huge collective of material um, and, and practice tests. The main point in TTP, I believe, is the structured approach it has. Um, if you're doing the course, you don't have to think about anything by doing it. You just have to follow the study plan it will give you everything you need. And um, this takes a lot of stress uh, of, of your preparation. And this was a major thing for me as well. Um, TTP is not the cheapest thing out there, I know, but really it, it, it is worth it to not have to stress on what you will practice tomorrow or the day after because it is there in front of you, you know what's coming, it's really great. So this is uh, what I would say uh, about TTP. Mm. They basically the structuredness is, is what um, brought all the difference for me in, in using this course. Um, now, there are some personal advices that uh, I would give to you as well. Basically, the first one is to use TTP, all right? So um, I don't have uh, like any interest in, in uh, recommending TTP other than uh, wishing more and more people had this opportunity to have this good of a preparation. Uh, I'm really thankful for the guys uh, at TTP for assess assisting my journey and providing all this great material. And this is my way of giving back. So really, I don't have any interest in this, but you should go for TTP if you're thinking about it. Everything else that I would recommend, like technically about the GMAT, the guys there will tell you about it at some point. Uh, there are strategy chapters where they are explaining um, how you should prepare mentally, what you should think about on exam day, how you should approach stressful situations, everything. They thought about everything, really. So this is my first recommendation. Just go for the course. Uh, 
if if that's available for you and uh, you can afford it whatsoever, uh, I really do recommend it. And now another uh, recommendation is basically about test day and writing the GMAT. Uh, this is a personal for me as I saw some people around me who unfortunately was not succeeding uh, on test day. Whatever your practice looked like and, uh, and how much time you've put into it, uh, really, on test day, you just have to let go of everything, everything that you couldn't finish, couldn't get uh, to the end of it, because miracles can happen, basically, and and not even miracles, but lucky situations. Obviously, for you to get lucky, you have to put in a lot of preparation and, and uh, make the basis uh, for, for lucky situations. For example, I was lucky uh, with scoring perfectly on quant. I didn't make any mistakes. I couldn't get two exercises. I uh, just passed them because I knew I, I wouldn't get the concept right away and it would take too much time. I had some time in the end. I went back and I could actually solve them. And this is how I got a, a perfect core in quant. Um, now, obviously, this needs a little luck. You have to have those questions that you understand. And you have to respond to stressful situations while not understanding the questions. You have to have the brain power of pushing through and going for the next exercise. But for this, you need to have the confidence in your skills and abilities. And you need a lot of practice beforehand. And, and you need to make the basis for, for getting lucky. But whatever is your stage of preparation, when you uh, write the GMAT, how uh ever your score looked like in the beginning i just want to give this additional um recommendation for everybody that you should just let it go and bring your clearest mind on test day uh because there can be a very very big fluctuation in scores depending on on your mental state and uh also a little bit of luck uh on exam day so Basically, my two recommendations are, are going for TTP and then just going for uh, the GMAT with a clear mind and just just trying to bring the best on test day that you can. And yeah, just don't don't worry too much about it, guys. Put in the proper preparation, use the best material available and then, yeah, kill it on test day. So basically, this was uh, what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I hope you had some insights that were interesting, that uh, were helpful for you. I scored a 735 on the GMAT, which is a 770 in the traditional and 99.5 percentile um, with uh, practicing uh, on TTP uh, and only doing quant. Um, now, obviously, there was a little bit of luck in this, but I really did a lot of preparation. I spent like 200 hours with GMAT altogether, 170 hours on TTP. For some, it's a lot. For some, it's it's not too much. They do a lot of more practice. Really depends on on what you need. I hope that many of you guys uh, will actually sign up to TTP and use these great uh, materials um, and and have similar success on test day. I really hope the uh, best for everybody on this and. Yeah, that, that's about me and, uh, and the GMAT for uh, this video. I wish you guys all the best and uh, yeah, have a great and uh, fun preparation on uh, the GMAT and yeah, kill it on Thursday. Good luck.